What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Welcome to the Chosen I Take It Show. I am your host, Real Roy, aka Chosen I Take and Choose Your Life. Don't just take what it gives you, man. And I just hope everybody having a blessed and wonderful day. I'm going to get right on into it, man. I ain't going to waste no time. I just want to let everybody know that God knew you. He knew you way before the mistakes. He knew you way before you was ever going to change. He knew you before you were even going to think about the change. Because he knew he left something in you and he instilled something in you that was going to spark the change in you. I just want to take this time out to encourage somebody to tell them that guess what? God already knew that you was going to change. And the reason why I wanted to speak on, he already knew you was going to change because so many of us have gotten to a place to where we have became complacent in our iniquities. We have became so comfortable in being in our shortcomings. But I just want to tell you today, man, that God already knew that you was going to change. God already knew that you was going to make your mind up. And the reason why I wanted to talk about the change for the better is because I feel like so many times we get caught up in the past. We get so caught up in the things that we do negatively to where we don't take the time out to appreciate the positive. So I just want to tell you that God already knew you was going to change. So don't be surprised in the change in yourself. What's up, brother Mike Hennessy? What the business is? Uh, don't be surprised in the change in yourself because God sold the good in you while you were still doing bad. And guess what? He saw the bad in you when you thought you was doing good. When you were sitting high up on there. Matter of fact, let me give you a scripture to go along with that. Let's go to Jeremiah 1 and 5. I got to give you a quick little word real quick. I got to give you a quick word real quick. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 1, verse number 5. Jeremiah is one of the great prophets. Let's go to the Old Testament. I'm going to leave this here with y'all real quick. It's something that I feel like. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse number 5. I'll be reading out the NIV. I'll be reading out the NIV. The NIV says, Before I formed you. Matter of fact, let's get all the way to it. Uh, verse number 4 says, A message came from the Lord. Came, a message from the Lord came to me. The Lord said, Before I formed you in your mother's body, I chose you. Let me say it again for those in the back who, who, who really can't understand how they know they're doing wrong because every day they wake up and they feel like it's something that they need to do. I'm going to tell you why you feel that way. God said, God said, a message from the Lord came to me. This is first Jeremiah, the first chapter, the fourth verse. They say a message from the Lord came to me. The Lord said, before I formed you, he said, before I formed you, I chose you. Before I formed you, I chose you. Uh, and another and a version of it said, uh, I, I, uh, I knew you and I sanctified thee. Let me tell you something. I just want to tell you today. Don't be surprised when you change. I just want to get that encouraging word to somebody today. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but don't be surprised that you change. It's nothing wrong with you. It's nothing wrong with the fact that you want to live a better life. It's nothing wrong the fact that you don't want to drink no more. You don't want to smoke anymore. You don't want to be promiscuous anymore. Don't be surprised. Because God knew he, that you was going to change. He saw the change in you before you could see the change in yourself. Don't be surprised when you don't want to hang out with the same people no more. Don't be surprised. Don't be alarmed. Don't be alarmed that when you change that people are going to stop fooling with you. Don't be alarmed. Because he's the only one that told you he'll never leave you nor forsake you. People going to come and go. Hard for you to believe that, but it's the truth. That's the reason why people live and they pass away. I'm here to tell you today, and I just want to encourage somebody today. That God knew you was going to change. I, wanna, I want every single one of you to walk in the season of progression. I want you to walk in a season of progression. I don't want to, I don't want to wallow on the negative. What's up, Shay? What's up with you, baby? I don't want to wallow in the negative. I want to, I want to appreciate your change. I want to appreciate your day-to-day -day change. I want to be able to give you something every single day that'll lift you up to let you know that God is not surprised about your change. You surprised, but he's not because God has faith in us. He has more faith in us than we have in ourselves. 
I want to be the first one to tell you today that I love you. If I'm not, if I'm not the first one, you live in a great life. If I am the first one, that goes to show you that there's some more people that you need to get around. Let me say it again. I want to be the first person to tell you today that I love you. And if I'm not the first person to say I love you, I want to let you know you live in a great life. But if I am the first person, that means that there's some better people that you need to be around. You need to be around unconditional love. You need to be around people that love you. Not people that like you, but people that love you. I want people to really and truly understand that God is not surprised at your change. He knew you was going to change. He knew you. He said, from the womb, I chose you. Before he created you in your mother's body, he knew you. So what I'm saying is, is that if he knows you, that means he got good, he got high hopes for you. Stop selling yourself short. Live the life that you intended to live. Be the person that you need to be. Do not let anybody talk you out of it because guess what? These people don't know you. The haters don't know you. Your family don't know you. A lot of people do not know you. But God knows you. We always want to talk about uh, uh, being in a different place and all like that. You don't have to go nowhere. You don't have to go nowhere. Because God is your safe haven. He's the place that you need to go to. Create in me a clean heart. Because if you change your mind and change your heart, your life going to change forever. I know I'm not going to be here long. I just wanted to give it to some. I wanted to give somebody this word today. That I will be putting this on my YouTube I will be putting this on my YouTube. Um, I just want you to know that God knew you was going to change. God knew you was going to change. God knew you wasn't going to stay the same. He put too much in you for you to stay in the same situation. And I'm speaking that into somebody. Like, somebody going to say, what do we mean by that? This is what I mean. I'm already letting you know that God is not surprised at your potential. He's not surprised at how far you're going to go. I don't, I don't want to talk about your shortcomings. I don't want to wild in that. I want you to say, I want you to look back and say, you know what? While everybody else is saying, oh, I'm surprised that they got over that breakup. Oh, I'm surprised they quit that job. Oh, I'm surprised at this and that. I just want to let you know. God knew you. God knew you was going to change. Because he knew what he put in you was bigger than whatever lies they put on you. He knew that whatever lies they put on you, it was not going to compare or be comparable to what he put left in you. You're the best creation God ever created because he made you in his image. Why not take the time out to be a reflection of the blessings that God has in store for you. So continue to live for God. Continue to be the best version of yourself. I'm about to get, get ready to get up out of here. We'll be back tomorrow, Thursday night, every Thursday night here on TikTok, 7 to 9. We had a Chosen Not Taken show. Well, 7 8. Let me say 7 8. 7 8 be the Chosen Not Taken show. You know what it is and what it ain't, man. I just want to tell you, man, three things before I go. This here will be on my YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. I'm going to be dropping gems. This is going to be a hot gear this year. We're going to get really, really serious on that YouTube this year. We're going to get serious about this thing. So look here. God loves you. I love you. And if we keep loving each other, the world's going to be a better place. One love. See y'all next time.